learn another interesting trick. But to everybody's surprise, not in Excel, but in MS Word. Today we will be learning different ways or to be more specific, four different ways of making table in MS Word. So let us begin. The most common method or the most usual method of creating a table is we go to the word document insert uh, see the uh, press the insert button on the uh, word menu and then here we can see that there is a tab called table add a table the description says add a table so we'll press over here and then go to insert tab here another pop-up box appears wherein it requires the certain details like number of columns and number of rows you want in the table. Say we want four columns and four rows in the table and the sooner we click on OK, the tables gets created. See, we wanted, we specified that there should be four columns. We have four columns and we specified four rows to be there in the table. There are four rows in the table. So this is the most common and frequently used method of creating table in MS Word. Now the second method of creating table is like again we will go to the insert tab and then press tables and now we can draw tables like this. We want four rows. Say this time we want five columns. So we will select five boxes uh, horizontally and four boxes vertically and then we will have five columns and four rows this is the second method and a very easy method to create a table in ms word friends watch the video till the end because the most interesting part of the video is coming very soon where we will learn a unique method of creating a table so moving ahead we will now learn the third method of creating a table. The third method of creating a table is also a simple method wherein what we will do is we will again go to the table and here we will manually draw a table using a pen like this. We will first stretch the, the, the pen tool like this and then we can draw lines like this to have as many rows and then we can split the uh, table vertically to have as many columns as uh, we want. So this is the third method of creating a table. I hope you are liking the video. Very soon we will be sharing with you a unique method of creating a table which probably you might not have ever dreamt about. The fourth method of creating a table is the most recent method which I have also come across and thus I would like to share it with you. It is creating a table using the symbol of plus and minus. So how it happens is we will have to first type a plus button and then we type minus buttons as many times as we want the width of the column to be then again we will press plus and then we will press minus there is no fixed number of plus or minuses uh, the plus will decide the number of columns and the minuses would determine the width of the columns and likewise we will continue doing this minus 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 and then again plus, minus, 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 and then plus. Now at the end when we feel like that our requirement is okay, now, now the table would be created, the sooner we hit the enter button, uh, the table would be created as per our requirement. So let's just see. Now if, for increasing the number of columns, sorry, rows, what we will have to do is we will have to go up to the last cell of the first row and then just press tab and then again we can repeat the exercise and then we will get 
as many number of rows as we want. Likewise, we can stretch the table and then this is the most unique method of creating a table using plus and minus symbol. I hope that this video was an interesting video wherein we learn different ways of creating tables in MS Word. If you have liked this video, don't forget to press the like button. If you want to receive more such interesting tricks, then press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notifications of all the new videos which are added on the channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.